Biller is the founder and head of business development AQR, a global investment management firm. John Waldron, president and CEO of Goldman Sachs. It's currently, I think, in the single digits right now. Good morning, kind of. It's like 12.30 a.m. I'm filming a day in the life as an econ major. As of right now, I am an econ major. That's subject to change. So exploring different majors and career paths. I just want to preface this with this is not a typical day at Northwestern as an econ major. Like the president of Goldman Sachs doesn't come here every day, but um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys what it is like. I just finished my art history class and I'm gonna go over to the lunch. But for every sort of success like that, there's thousands of failures. So you wanna take intelligent risk. So I would say on average, the more uncertain you are about who you think you are, what you may wanna do, which is completely natural. Go to a place which is very well resourced where you're exposed to a lot of different things. You can learn in a bigger organization before you go on your entrepreneurial journey, we have the benefit of having, you know, kind of a scaled experience. So you can put a lot of data sets together. You can start to pattern recognize. That's a valuable thing before you kind of go off on your own and actually start your journey. You will have seen people fail. You will have seen reasons for failure. You'll see management mistakes, leadership mistakes. How do people build culture? What's working, what's not working? I think Asia is big, big opportunity over time. You need to be knowledgeable about China. I spend an enormous amount of time on China in our firm, partially because we have to be knowledgeable with our clients and we obviously have to figure out what we're doing with our business. So I would just, I would urge you China, India, I still think Japan, it's a different kind of economy. These are big, important economies that are gonna have a lot to do with the future world order. I have three wishes for you. One is live a life of curiosity. The next thing is take risk. Embrace risk as an asset. Take intelligent risks. Take risk to grow. And then the final thing is gratitude. <laughs> session meeting for this Wharton MBA program. If my Wharton MBA Zoom meeting ends early, then I'll probably go to the private equity club meeting after. I just finished all of my meetings for all my clubs. So now I just have to do my homework and eat dinner. I think I'm gonna Uber eat something since the dining halls are closed. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I just Uber eaten my food. So it's coming at 9.25 to 9.55. So in half an hour to an hour. I'll be working on my math homework, which is due at midnight in the meantime. Summarizing what I did today, I did some Latin, of course, um, formal analysis in art history of La Biel Guillard's paintings. Future things that I'll keep in mind after the talk. I think I want to learn, try learning some Asian languages. They said that, like, of course, Asia is going to be a big player in the economy, so that will be really useful going forward. At the talk, they mentioned learning about Asian history and even learning European history post-World War II and how that affects the global economy. And of course, for my future career, I hope to be able to like, I guess, 
self-diagnose when I'm overall plateauing so that I'm continuously learning something new that I'm able to grow overall. In religion, I learned about like Durkheim and his collective effervescence theory. In the club meetings, I learned about Wharton's deferred like MBA program. We practiced casing and then I looked at some small cap stocks for private equity and venture capital club. That was my day, it was a big day. I learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed.